This village is different. Stiavnitska Banya is in the Stiavnitsa mountains in central Slovakia. There's something special in the air. Birds of prey are aiding educators here. I was afraid of the birds at first, but not anymore, not even the eagle. The school's principal, Pavel Michal, is responsible for introducing birds of prey into the school curriculum. The innovative educational program saved the school. Falconry is a compulsory subject for all pupils in grades 7 through 9. But even the younger kids love it. The pupils have to take responsibility for the birds. They must care for them daily, even during the holidays. By working with live animals, they learn to make decisions and be patient. That's very important. Those skills have to be learned. The teacher tells the children how to use the equipment. The pupils practice working with the birds properly. Sarah shows how to put the hood on the eagle, even if the American bald eagle Nixon isn't so crazy about the headwear. He's teaching Sarah that she must be the boss. The school now has 40 birds. They're quite valuable. Some of them are worth more than 5,000 euros. The youngest pupils care for the owls. They feed them dead chicks and are not in the least afraid. The older children train vultures, eagles and falcons. One of the most difficult skills is learning to place food on the glove properly. The bird should go for the meat, not the pupil. It's a great feeling when the bird does what I trained him to do, even though he's a bird of prey. One of the secrets of Stiavne Chibanya is the close bond between people and animals. During the Middle Ages, the region started to be a centre for gold and silver mining. But today, all that's left is the label UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site. The village's 800 residents live from tourism, wood carving and forestry. Many are jobless. Look where we are. Our mountain village is difficult to access. Investors don't come here and besides you can't build factories in the UNESCO area. The village needs a plan. The concept is only just getting off the ground, and it's as unusual as it is appropriate. It brings nature into the classroom with wild birds. Falconry offers possibilities for the pupils. They can work at airports, for breeders or in shows. And if they can't find a job in Slovakia, they can work abroad as well. The pupils get their first experience at presentations held all over Europe. The falcons, the feathered friends of sheikhs, have already got them first contacts to the United Arab Emirates. The effort is great, and everyone, teachers, pupils and their families, must do their part. Even Sarah's family. When the birds came, things changed for them. As long as Sarah was dealing with the birds at school, it wasn't really a problem at all. But since she's been tending her own falcons, she's got to go to school on weekends too. That's changed our priorities as a family completely. Falconry is Sarah's favorite subject. She's planning for the future and says she wants to become a veterinarian. And things couldn't be much better for Pavel Michal either. Since he's introduced falconry, 50 additional school pupils have come in from neighboring villages. The birds saved his school and have brought a shimmer of hope to Stiavnitska Banya and perhaps the whole region. <laughs>